Good morning, Piggy. Morning. It's Tuesday morning. Hit a bump. Hit a bump. Hit a bump, hit a bump, hit a bump, bump, bump. Bump, hit a bump, hit a bump, bump, bump. So why is it Tuesday doing it now? Because it's going to be for Thursday. You already got one coming out for today. Yeah. Because we on the road again. On the road again. We thought we was gonna have a few more days out, but yeah, it didn't work out that way, so that's all right too. But we're off again tomorrow because there's a doctor's appointment for her tomorrow, so there's that. Uh -huh. So Check the email when I get home so see what kind of mail we're getting today. Okay. They got a new thing on that. They email her, let her know what she's getting every day. It is called informed delivery. And if you uh, go to uh, usps.com online, you can sign up for it. And most local. Uh, Post office. Post offices have it. Well, that's cool. I mean, I was fine with it. Let me know what kind of mail I got coming. Right. I so, thought that pretty neat. So far, it's been mostly junk. Right. <laughs> yeah, the, the file 13 stuff. But it's still nice to know. Yeah. Don't have to make a wasted trip out to the mailbox. By the way, if you're expecting something important, or even halfway important, you'll know it's coming. Yeah, and if you're expecting a package or something, it lets you know when your package is Yeah. Coming. I bet that messes up a lot of them delivery people that uh, used to like to keep them uh, good smelling packages. Oh, yeah. Because you're expecting it, and when it don't arrive, you're like, hey, y'all said this was coming, it ain't here. Mm -hmm. Not only do it say it's out for delivery, but you sent me a picture saying it was in the mail, it was coming today. Yeah. So, that's pretty neat. Yeah. And maybe they've started doing that because of, uh, Thieves. I know larger towns, cities have had it for a while. I think a friend of ours told me that she gets it. Uh, she has informed delivery and she's had hers about a year now. Who's that? Anita. Oh. But she's a, in Huntsville, which is a very big city. It is. So I think it's, they started out in the larger cities like that. Is it big, not bigger than Chattanooga? Oh, yeah, it's way bigger than Chattanooga. Well, now you got a memory. Chattanooga, Red Bank, Brainerd, Eastridge, all that's considered part of Chattanooga. That's like Huntsville, Owens Crossroads, Madison, uh, Hazel Green. Yeah. All that is considered part of Huntsville. You know, even though it's on the outskirts of it, it's not considered part hey, of Huntsville. Put a shirt on. <laughs> Did he blind you, piggy? <laughs> Sitting out there, his big old gut digging out, no shirt on. <laughs> oh man. 
bigger and floppier than mine. But dude, indecent exposure. We don't want to see that stuff. <sighs> oh my. Whew. Too yeah. early in the morning. He's up there on the side of the bridge up there. No, there's just some things you shouldn't have to look at that are this early in the morning. Right. I'm just saying. That's why I keep a shirt on when I'm around, folks. I don't want them to have to suffer seeing my big old gut without a shirt on it. Some gays. That's the only reason we're coming up this way, y'all. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, top the gas tank, y'all. and relax and you can do it tomorrow we got the whole day tomorrow to do it yeah well why do not keep putting it out find an excuse to keep putting it out I'm dreading it I know yeah but you be you know you're going to suffer for it we gotta get some lock tight anyway don't we yeah, we've got to get some product time for that. Evan told me to get some product time. Just snug it. Johnny told me to just snug it. I put that one out asking for that advice. I got it. Yeah, for some very good car people. Dale mentioned it was live. He's going to look at that and see what it was about. See what he could offer on advice on that. <laughs> just as good as, if not worth more than money. Mm-hmm. You get good advice, get something done, you know, it'll help you do something on your own, it'll save you a bunch of money. Yeah. It'll save you more money because you get advice and uh, teach you how to do it right. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> so, Makes advice as good as if not worth more than money. Mm -hmm. I was trying to hustle and scrounge for work. And the dude brought heavy equipment, putting in septic tanks and field lines. Trying to talk my way into a laborer's job help him out so I can learn how to run heavy equipment told him I'd work for free you know just let me be around and learn now a lot of them folks are stingy about it they don't want to tell you nothing show you nothing nothing like I well maybe they just for some reason, God didn't want me doing that. He didn't want me learning that. But he got something for me to do anyhow. Some of y'all done experienced what that is. Yeah. So that's what I do. The dump truck's going to turn right. Barely tell that red light back here blinking. Oh, look at that neon green. That was in front of us? Yeah. I 
thought it was white. So oh no, it's a neon green. Okay. That'll wake you up. I think they want to make sure they get seen, folks. Cause you gonna see that. <laughs> or power to you. Saying hello. You get hit with that bright color right there, especially in the sunshine. That's about like that ugly poop colored car we saw at the store the other day. <laughs> yeah, I, I ain't joking. It, it, it or ugly. Folks, it, it was a baby stuff mustard type yeller. Yeah. A lot of y'all know what that is. That, that was just a, I looked at that car and I was like, what? Who would, who would buy a car that color? Never know. Might be somebody into that sort of thing. I know they had a magnet thing on the, on the door. It was faded out. You couldn't really read it. It was, it was for a, a dog training service. Yeah, dog training service. Maybe that's why it was that color. I don't know. But, so, you know, if you had some kind of trouble with your pet, mm -hmm. call them up. Are we tired? Somebody did. Neon yellow. That would neon green. That neon that yellow. Look, that look green to me. They're like a highlighter to me. Which is that? Yeah. Bright yellow. So either way, it's bright. Yeah. It'll wake you up. Well, folks, we're getting where we're not all that far from the gas and up station. Yeah. We got a few minutes here, so. Biggie loves you. All right.